Let's let's get her eye on something happening out in the Caribbean right now. The set. That's right, Eugene. Laura and tracking Tropical Storm Franklin, which formed as of yesterday last night in the Western Caribbean. It is strengthening and could even become a hurricane as it heads towards the Yucatan Peninsula. Not a threat to South Florida, however, going to bring heavy rain and gusty winds, life threatening flash floods and mudslides to parts of Belize, possibly Honduras, but especially Mexico, where it's expected to make landfall later tonight or into tomorrow early in the morning. It moving to the west northwest 13 miles per hour. Max sustained winds 45 miles per hour as of the latest 5M advisory and forecast to continue moving in that general direction across the Yucatan Peninsula as we head into tomorrow, then likely moving into the southwestern Gulf of Mexico and then likely a depression by the end of the week. So we have tropical storm Franklin and also a wave midway between the Cape Verde Islands and Lesser Antilles, which has a low potential of development over the next five days. In terms of our local forecast, grab your rain gear. We have a couple of showers sweeping in on the breeze earlier in Pompano Beach and around sunrise. Some of the roads will be slick and last night we had storms as well. Still dealing with some rain here near Aventura around Hard Rock Stadium, Pembroke Park. Everything is moving from the south and east to the north and west. Showers headed towards Hialeah as well as earlier around Cutler Bay in Princeton and across parts of the Keys also a bit of a soggy start. The winds will be increasing already 12 to 16 miles per hour, low to mid 80s. It is warm and see me out there. In fact, it already feels like the low to mid 90s when you factor in the humidity. And then we have this frontal boundary and along it, some active weather stretching from Texas through the Mississippi and Ohio River valleys as well as into the mid-Atlantic up through the Northeast. Could see some severe weather there. Now in terms of our forecast, we're going to be dealing with some more moisture as we head towards the middle and end of the week, along with the disturbance that will be increasing our chance for rain as we get into Thursday, Friday, and maybe even the weekend. For today, 93, gusty showers, hot and breezy. When you factor in the humidity, you know the drill. It's going to feel more like the hundreds out there. A high risk of rip currents today because the winds will be ramping up and kicking into gear. Small craft caution for boaters, so please be careful out there. Seas 2 to 4, choppy on the bays. For tonight, lows will fall to the low 80s. Warm breeze with those passing showers. So today about a 30% chance of rain tomorrow too. We're going to bump up that chance up to 50% as we head towards the end of the week. We'll see temperatures drop just a bit to 90 because we'll see more clouds and stormy periods.